Welcome to All About Living in Tampa. My name's Chris, and today we're gonna to be talking about pros and cons of living in the area. So let's get into it. I'm a licensed loan officer here in the Tampa Bay area. If you have any finance questions or have any general questions about Tampa, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, you can either click the uh, link below and schedule an in-depth call, or you can shoot me a text, email, and I'd be happy to speak with you. So we're going to get into some of the cons first, but later in the video, I'm going to go over some pros that I haven't heard in any other videos. And unless you're a local, you might not know some of these things. So stay tuned. Humidity down here is something like you haven't felt unless you've been down to the islands. Um, usually in the mornings or the summer months is when it's going to be worse. Uh, it's not going to be like a Las Vegas dry heat. It's going to be very humid. Um, so that's something that everybody has to get used to. Uh, on top of that, you're going to be looking at seasonal uh, pollen. It gets pretty bad down here. The pollen is something that you're going to have to clean off your cars. You're going to have to, you know, pressure wash, your backyard, maybe driveways, because otherwise you're going to be tracking that stuff into the house. I grew up here, so when I was younger, I had no allergy problems, anything like that. I don't know if it's just something that I've grown into, but over the last 10, 15 years, I've had to actually take Claritin, usually from about April until about September. Mosquitoes down here get pretty bad, especially if you're living anywhere near the water, a lake, uh, anything like that. Um, also, uh, palmetto bugs or cockroaches. Palmetto bugs are going to be more like a flying cockroach, uh, which so happens that I don't know, always find my father-in-law, which is pretty funny. That's something that people aren't used to. Another thing's going to be uh, water moccasins. Not sure if you've been around them, but they're pretty aggressive. Uh, poisonous snakes. Uh, you want to stay away from them, um, obviously, but there are black racers that are some snakes that you want to be around your house. Uh, they eat lizards, sp uh, spiders. Uh, they're actually good because they actually eat poisonous snakes as well. So love bugs, they'll eat the paint off your car. Uh, once they, they smack into your car, the what, what they're made of will actually eat away and um, damage your car finish. So make sure if you are driving and they hit your windshield, they hit the car, the bumper, or anything like that, you want to make sure you run your car through the car wash uh, as soon as you get to wherever you're going. Because if you leave that on there for a day or two, it'll really ruin your, your paint job. Traffic. Tampa's spread out. So I would say you definitely probably want to look into getting a car. Um, otherwise, we do have Uber and Lyft, but that's going to get really expensive. I've got some friends that uh, live a bit, little bit further out, more rural, and sometimes it's hard to get a Uber out there, to be honest with you, depending on what time you're, you're going somewhere. Quick tip, if there are any events, I should say, going on in downtown Tampa, you want to stay away from Del Mabry. If you're heading on any highways, uh, Gandy Bridge, Ben Franklin, Courtney Campbell, between 4 and 7, uh, you want to try to find alternate routes. I don't know if anyone uh, uses Waze. That's the app I use. Um, you, can, you can check alternate routes to uh, get to where you're going a little bit faster. Pay attention to speed traps and also red light cameras. Not sure if where you're coming from has them, but they definitely have them here in Tampa. So you want to be aware of um, you know, uh, making those stops when you're at a yellow light um, because otherwise you could get a ticket mailed to you, you know, a few weeks later, which isn't fun. Dale Mabry runs north and south. It's basically one of the main roads that branches off to almost anywhere else you want to go. Um, you can hit the interstate from there. Some of the neighborhoods you're going to hear about, Carrollwood through Lutz, through South Tampa. You can branch off and go to downtown Tampa from North Dale Mabry as well. And it actually leads to McGill Air Force Base. Okay, so let's get into some of the pros. Gasparilla Pirate Fest, which is one of the biggest events of the year. It typically is around February. Uh, they haven't had it last couple years because of COVID, but it, it's really a good time. Uh, they run a parade route with flotillas and pirates giving out beads. During the day, I would say it's more of an adult-driven kind of parade, but they do have a children's fest that is at night and that'll be um, a few nights later. It might even be a week later. So that's gonna be a little bit more low key if you do have kids. Other uh, cultural events will be Tampa Palooza, 
uh, Sunset Music Festival and the Margarita Festival. Those all, I, I believe they all take place downtown Tampa near Curtis Hickson Hall, and it's a really good time. You can actually even rent uh, near Harbor Island. You can rent electric boats. You can kayak. You can visit Armature Works, Sparksman's Wharf. Those are different places that you can just walk around, eat, hang out, take in a little bit of Tampa. Another pro is going to be uh, we've got beaches, you know, within 30 minutes to an hour. Some of the nicest beaches, very low key, but very clean and uh, easy to access. Uh, if you're looking for sports, we've got, you know, uh, everyone's taste here, basically football, hockey, baseball, and soccer, um, all professional teams that you can you can actually enjoy all year round as well. If basketball is your thing, uh, you're also close enough to uh, drive over to Orlando within an hour and, and catch a Orlando Magic game. And actually right now, the Tampa is hosting the Raptors as well. If you're looking for something to do also during the day, uh, we've got the Tampa Aquarium, Lowry Park Zoo, Bush Gardens is another um, place you can hit. I actually really like going over uh, Christmas time. Uh, they make it a Christmas theme and that's, re that's really a good time as well. If you want to hit uh, Disney or Universal Studios, again, uh, that's just about an hour and 15 minutes away over in Orlando, and they have different benefits for Florida residents and different things like that you can look up or just visit AAA. So we've checked with our resident golf pro here in the office, uh, Justin, and he mentioned that we have a couple nationally ranked uh, golf courses in Tampa along with uh, 20 other, 20 plus other great courses to play. Um, along with actually Tampa hosts, or I should say Pinellas County hosts, the Valspar Championships, uh, which I know uh, I've had a lot of friends go and they have a great time going and watching that. If you're not a great golfer like me, I enjoy going over to Top Golf in Brandon. That's a, about a 30 minute drive and, uh, you know, have a good time hanging out with family, friends and uh, getting a bite to eat. Here is a big pro that I haven't heard of anyone else talking about on videos um, that relates to Tampa. <clears throat> in regards to hurricanes, we have never been hit directly with a hurricane. Uh, you know, if you're not used to hurricanes, you do get uh, updates and we're aware of the hurricane's path and everything like that quite a bit ahead of time. So if you need to evacuate or you just choose to evacuate because you're not, you know, uh, you're worried about your family or the house, uh, you can choose to do that. But we, we've weathered them. You know, uh, like I said, I've been here for 40 plus years and we've never been hit directly. We've been very fortunate because uh, the past of the hurricanes have always, whether it came up through Port Charlotte or Orlando, they have always veered off. I think it has to do with the wind direction um, and the way the, the actual hurricane's turning. But we've been very fortunate and I don't know that anyone else has really talked about that Um being a, a, a big pro for being in Tampa versus maybe uh, purchasing in Orlando or a little bit north in Ocala or down south as far as Fort Myers goes because all those places have been hit directly by hurricanes. Another pro is going to be that the Tampa's job market is growing slightly faster than the U.S. average. Obviously, another plus is going to be we don't have state income tax here. So if you're coming from somewhere that has state income tax, you know what a big benefit that's going to be. And for the most part, uh, the homes here are uh, inexpensive compared to other comparative markets, so um, that's obviously a big factor as well. If you travel a lot for business or pleasure, Tampa International Airport was actually ranked number one by the Wall Street Journal for uh, mid-sized airports in the U.S. That rank was based on ease of access getting in and out, security check through, uh, shopping, restaurants, where you're going for your terminals. The ease of, uh, well, at least for me, when we go travel, you know, I, I'm with my wife and two daughters, so I'm usually the one carrying all the bags and worried about, you know, where we're going. I've got the tickets, I've got everything. So when we're going through the airport, it, it's really easy for me to follow my kids or follow my wife because all the instructions on where to go for ticketing, for restaurants, terminals, it's very, very easy. Travel is never stress-free, obviously, if you're traveling with your family, but it's as close as you can get. With all that being compared, pros and cons, I think the pros outweigh the cons by far, and that's why I love living in Tampa. Hopefully, you've uh, 
enjoyed the video and heard some pros and cons maybe that you haven't heard before. If you have any that you'd like to add, please comment below if you're local and have some, some pros or cons that somebody might want to hear about. Or if you're moving to the area and want to hear about some more pros and cons, please post your questions below. We'd love to answer them and continue helping our community. We're working really hard to give good information about living in the Tampa Bay area. So if there's anything else that you'd like to know about, please uh, comment below. Like this video if it was useful. We'll see you on the next one.